In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Brain MRI Anatomy module found on the website headneckbrainspine.com. Once at the website, scroll down to the image of the module, click on it, and it will load. This may take several minutes depending on your internet connection. For time's sake, I've already loaded the application. Its interface includes axial, sagittal, and coronal image sets, as well as a drop down menu at the top and a search text field. Images can be navigated by either holding down the left mouse button and moving across an image using the mouse wheel button or the left and right arrow keys. Now I'm going to demonstrate several methods you might use in order to learn or reference the anatomy. Say for instance you know the name of a structure but you don't know where it's located. You've heard of the putamen before. Type in putamen and then click on the search button. It will then be found in all the images and it will remain highlighted so you can appreciate it in its full three-dimensional extent as well. It can be turned off by finding it in the basal ganglia drop-down menu and deselecting it. Say for instance now you know where a structure is but you don't know its name. You know where the corpus callosum is and, but you've forgotten what the posterior aspect of it is called. Find the corpus callosum on an image, go to the posterior aspect and see that it's called the splenium of the corpus callosum. Click on it and it will sync it in all the three image planes so you can appreciate it there as well. Another method, you may want to learn related structures. Say, for example, everything in the cerebellum. Click on the checkbox in the cerebellum. It turns on all the structures. And then they can be appreciated by scrolling through them or moving the mouse over them to see their respective names. Or last of all, you may want to select all the structures to give you a sense of what they all look like. All that are available to be learned on, these, on this module. It can be confusing, but allow you to see what's, what's available to learn. Hopefully you'll find this module helpful. It's far from perfect, and again can be found on the website headneckbrainspine.com. Thank you.